In this video, we pull up anchor in the Bahamas near Nassau, raise our sails, and absolutely fly down to the Exumas in our Neil 43 trimaran we picked up from Performance Yacht Sales. We were flying a hull at nine knots. We made it to our marina in no time, but quickly found ourselves surrounded by sharks. This is definitely a marina you don't want to take a dip in. All right, uh, not a bad night here, although this morning uh, seems like all the tour boats come by giving us a wake. Yep, oh, look at this guy. I know, come right by us. Like right next to but us. But I will tell you, actually, I think this thing handles the wakes better than like a mon uh, monohull or a catamaran. Well, a monohull, we would be... Mm -hmm. Honestly, I mean, for taking a wake like that, I mean, they, you see, they came right by us. That was really not, we did barely moved at all. Like a little splash, kind of nice. It's gonna be a sporty one today. Right here, the wind is showing 13 knots, but out there it's got, you know, it's forecast to be 18, 19, which means it'll probably be more than that. So it's gonna be rough a little bit because the wind's gonna be beam on. So that means the waves will be beam on. So it'll be a little bit rolly. I know, but what are we gonna do? It's only 30 miles across though. Uh, Short day. Yeah, and we should, the wind's enough, we should be doing nine, 10 knots the entire way. So it should take less than three hours, I hope, to get over there, or at least get in the lee. And then, uh, yeah, so kind of a short day, but it'll be a rough one. It was just a few things to get the boat ready to go, and then we were pulling up and... Once clear of the island, it was time to raise the sails. Steph and I were getting in a pretty good routine and it hardly took any time at all. you know me by now and I only accept sponsorships from brands that I actually use and agree with and uh, that's why when NordVPN approached me about sponsoring this video I said yes because I already have the app on my phone and like I'm a subscriber and I use it right here uh, so a NordVPN is, is a virtual private network so like we are we're traveling right now we're in the Bahamas um, so say we want to check out Netflix in the US well sometimes they are uh, geo restricted right so from the Bahamas I can't access my American Netflix so then the way the VPN works is it routes our, your traffic through one of their servers in the United States they have places all over hundreds of them and so then you can watch Netflix based in the US or US or like if you're you want to watch UK Netflix you can do the same thing plus it defends you uh, from man in the middle attack so like if you're using your phone at a public Wi-Fi you're at a Starbucks and you see a Wi-Fi that says free public Wi-Fi that may just be some dude at his computer having a little hotspot and then you connect to it and then he's got you he's got all your information and all the traffic goes through him you can see what's going on so NordVPN also limits that so whether you're traveling or just want security it's a great tool to have and I had it well before uh, uh, they even approached me about sponsoring this video. So it's risk-free. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Click my link down in the description and uh, check out NordVPN today. I'm a user and I hope you are. All right, we got uh, one reef in the main and we got the Genoa about halfway out. Uh, it's got a little chart here. It says, you know, 20 to 23 knots apparent. You should have one reef and 50% of the Genoa out. And we're showing, uh, well, right now, apparent wind speed is 20 knots, but it's been up to 22 or so, so I think we're well within the limits there. We're doing nine knots, so, uh, yeah, so we only have, uh, what, 27 miles to go. We should be in the lead a couple miles before that, so. That's kind of the nice thing about this boat is it's rough out here, uh, but, you know, it's a multi-hull, so it doesn't heal over like a, like a monohull does. Uh, plus, we're fast, so if we were in a monohull, say we were in a 45-foot monohull doing six and a half knots, uh, all the way that would take you know close to five hours to do yeah. and we're gonna do it less than three so uh, you know it's kind of nice the wake off the back of the boat shows just how fast we were going at nine to ten knots this Neil Trimaran turned a five hour trip into three hours and it's a great way to cruise down to the Exumas.
we were flying our windward hull as we sliced through the turquoise water. We picked this boat up from Performance Yacht Sales down in Miami. Contact them at pyachtsales.com for more information or to schedule a test sale. This is kind of why you want to do this uh, section in you know the daytime so you can see the rocks. Uh, I mean, we're in 13 feet of water, but you know it's hard to say how big those rocks are. But you know we can see them from a ways off because it's a big dark spot compared to the light, bright blue to everything else. As we neared our destination of Highborn Key in the northern Exumas, it was time to pull down the sails. Here we are almost here to, what is this, uh, Highborn Key. We're actually gonna go in the marina. I would not normally do it here. It's kind of expensive, but we're just doing it for one night. We're gonna get some water. We're wash okay, I'm gonna wash the boat, yeah. And then we see a land, you know, we can maybe walk around yeah. a little bit, see it. I mean, we can do it whether we're angry or not, but yeah. whatever. So, and they have a really nice restaurant here, so. Um, oh, I'm excited for that. Yeah, because if we had to, if we were to anchor out, I mean, it'd be a pretty long little dinghy ride to get in there. And, you know, that thing's only six horsepower. If, if, uh, if you're gonna get a dinghy like that, like that, that size right there, I mean, get a 15 on that thing, and you'll zip around all day long. So that's what I'd recommend. But we'll do that. And then we're kind of excited here, cause like, you know, the water's beautiful, plus like, you know, the island chain runs kind of uh, from the northeast to the southeast. So you're always gonna be in lee of the uh, prevailing wind, which is normally out of the east. You can stay on the west side of it, but if it flips around out of the west, you can go to the other side, and then you're in the lead too. So it's nice cruising the Exumas. And it's beautiful water. Yeah. I mean, and you're cruising; it's just blue the whole way. So you can be in 25, you know, 20 knots of wind, and the and the seas are only like one foot out here, which is great for sailing. It's a pretty narrow reef cut through the entrance to get to the marina. A lot of current flowing through here. We're only doing four and a half knots, so two and a half knots of current or more. Yeah. Of course, our slip is in the very back corner of the marina and a little bit difficult to get to. Grab one of those fenders off the line and then just fend off. Sorry. Yeah. Highborn Key is the furthest north marina in the Exuma Island chain. Marinas in the Exumas tend to be pretty expensive, so we try not to use them very often. Marinas tend to attract a lot of sharks, but at Highborn Key Marina, I was pretty amazed by just how many there were and not just at the fish cleaning station, all throughout the marina. They're mostly pretty harmless nurse sharks, but you never know when there's gonna be a bull shark. One of the benefits of staying in a marina is being able to wash all the salt off the boat. Well, sometimes it's nice to stay in a marina. It is. You've cleaned up, showered, and washed the boat. I know. Washing the boat, for some reason, just brings me satisfaction. Well, the boat's so salty that everything you touch is grimy and all that. It's I just, know. It's yeah. just hard to sit in where yeah. outside. They do have a really nice restaurant here. I mean, at least I was here six years ago, and it was like probably one of the better meals I've had in the Bahamas, for well, sure. Well, it's definitely popular because we didn't get a reservation until 8.15. Yeah. So. so. All right. So uh, it's almost 8.15. We're about to head up and go there. Fell out of the roller coaster, crashed out, 
Landed on cotton candy in your arms and survived I'm still obsessed to rock bottom and below I'm yours for the asking Where you go, I go I thought I was what I told I thought I was I thought I was what I Best restaurant in the Bahamas. I mean, well, there might be one in Nassau that's pretty good, but this the best best restaurant in the for sure. Thanks again to Performance Yacht Sales for supplying this beautiful Neil 43 we're sailing through the Bahamas. Check out PYachtSales.com for more information. And thank you so much to our patrons and channel members for making this channel possible. They got this video a couple days early. And we're going to draw from one of them to join us on the boat in August. So head over to patreon.com slash sailing doodles. <laughs> <laughs>